<laughs> Let me put this guy back in. Come on, little guy. Oh, oh, look, oh, look at those feet. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's having a temper tantrum. Go ahead. Yeah, just like a little kid. He's a temper tantrum. Here's a turkey vulture. How are you? Come over here. Come over here. This is a turkey vulture. You know, pretty interesting bird. If you look at that head, you know, Fevola's head, the, the feeding habits of a turkey vulture, to say the least, are not very pleasant. And they eat carrion, the, 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 the more stinky the better. And uh, that Fevola's head is for carrion eating because they stick their head right into their food. Pretty messy. Remember you know, we you, saw one of these on, on Mount Holyoke? One came oh, cruising right. over yeah, us. You see, yeah. see a lot of them around. Even the nostrils are really big. They got a good sense of smell and huge nostrils. You can see the ear behind the eye. But they're an incredible bird. This this bird has got a real incredible could, could you personality. Pull, pull him out or her yeah. out? Uh, get, it's always nice to see that wingspan. I need my glove here. Wait a minute. Let me get my glove. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they back toward you and poop. It comes squirting out and it doesn't Projectile. smell good. Projectile. <laughs> I just think this wind's balance so oh, She'll sun herself on a day like today. Watch, she's gonna get up in the sun here. She'll just open those wings and she'll sit like this for hours. She's really, she's really molting right now. You'll see a lot of the feathers in the wing are starting to, uh, a lot of them starting to come out. On the end, you see all the new feathers coming in. Uh, again, a real interesting, a real interesting bird. This particular bird, like I said, has got an incredible personality. Just a nice bird to work with and, uh, so what, is, what do you mean she has an incredible personality? Well, it's just his, his demeanor. He just, uh, uh, he, he does comical things. He just <laughs> always keeps the kids laughing when I think of him to school. He does something always, always to a point where he makes someone laugh. But he's just got a, a real nice personality compared to birds of prey. So they're uh, like docile? Yeah, docile? exactly. Well, he'll bite me, believe me. Uh, a couple of things about the bird. Look at his feet. You see all that white? Well, that's the escrow. That's the droppings. Uh, when it's a real hot day, uh, the bird, instead of his droppings going out on the ground like most birds, they'll just run right down his legs. And the alcohol in the droppings help to keep the bird, whoops, speaking of droppings, help to keep the bird cool. Uh, the alcohol absorbs on the legs into the body, helps the body, keep the body uh, cool. Also, uh, when a turkey vulture gorges itself and eats so much food, sometimes it can't fly well. And if he's threatened by, threatened by a predator or someone else, he'll uh, regurgitate his stomach content. He'll throw it up to make himself lighter so he can get off the ground. Here's what I mean about him sunning himself. He'll stay like this all day. Spread his wings, and that's maybe a control. If he's got any lice or anything like that, it helps kill the lice. And they just love this, the sun like that. <laughs> he likes rings. He's got a ring on. Oh, I, I got a real good diamond collection. Well, anything that's shiny on your hand, boy, he'll really, he'll really check it all out. Oh, well. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> that hurt. Oh, okay. Well, that beak is like a, that beak, you see the little hook on it, but the edges are very sharp, you know, like a razor blade. And this bird, you know, when, it, when it's uh, feeding, but it can tear into anything. But uh, uh, if you cut, grab your hand, you know, it's really, really sharp, you know, really, really sharp. What are you doing there? That's a turkey vulture. You know, a lot of you, a lot of people here have probably heard, you know, everybody talk about global warming. Uh, you know, the turkey vulture is a good indication because years ago, there weren't many turkey vultures around. Now they're everywhere. Now the black vulture, you see them down south. I was in uh, Westfield not too long ago, and one came right across the highway in front of me, a, a black vulture. First one I've seen. I've seen them down in New York, but I didn't see them up this far. But this time they're migrating off. Open your wings. Let them see your wings. But they're a, they're a pretty bird. Uh, you know, if you look at those feathers, they're really iridescent looking. And when you look at a turkey vulture real close, he's not the most handsome thing in the world. Well, this bird's up in the sky flying. You've got to admit, 
There's not many birds that can compare with a turkey vulture. They're just incredible. <laughs> Why are they called a turkey vulture? Well, I guess it's from the uh, just from the appearance. The red head and dark brown black body. When they're on the ground walking around, which they do a lot. A lot of people, you, you go by a road, sometimes you'll see them out in the field, and you'll think, oh, turkeys, and it's turkey vultures. Tom, explain about the, about the nostril there. Oh, yeah. You see the, the nostrils, you can look right through. Uh, good sense of smell. So his feeding habits, his feeding habits allow this bird to put its head right into its food. Unfortunately, with that good sense of smell, she does not want to, she does not want to get her nostrils blocked up. So if they went in this way, like the eagle or the hawk, they get blocked up really quick. So his nostrils go this way and then up in, helps him to keep it nice and clean. If you touch him, if he sees your hand coming in, you're okay. But if you try to reach around the back, it's a, it's a threat. Oh, okay. She may bite you. <laughs> Behave. Yeah, the Behave. feathers are really pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. Uh, like I said, probably, uh, now he's, uh, he's, those are his old feathers. He's molting out now. All those new feathers are going to be jet, jet black with a beautiful shine on them and just magnificent color. How much does it weigh? About five pounds. Not much at all. <laughs>